So why it happens? This might be a result of a broken OTA update. When our phone do software update and our battery gets low, so this can cause it to and it is a software problem but sometimes it can be triggered by hardware too like when your phone gets waterlogged or similar damage this can cause that issue too so for this fix we need three files we have to download the samsung usb driver and the odin 3 tool and a firmware package file I'll leave the links in the description you can download it from there too so let's begin open up your browser type the Samsung USB driver although I'm leaving the links in the description click on the first link click here And I have already downloaded it as you can see so I'm not gonna download it so I'll just cancel it but you need to download it open the new tab type Odin 3 and search here click on that first link download Odin then click here then again slide it down click here and click on the download now icon I have already downloaded it so I'm not gonna download it again I'm just gonna cancel it Okay, now we got our software files and it's time to download the firmware file. I'll leave the, ding, uh, leave the link in the description. Here. It is a Google Drive so it, you, it will provide you the fastest speed possible. And here's the file size. It's 2GB file. So you need to download it. Click here download anyway then you will be able to download it so I do have this file so I don't need it so I'm not gonna download it okay so let's check our files we got three files a firmware package a Odin tool and a Samsung USB driver we only need three files so click on the Samsung USB driver and install it. It will help us to detect the phone on the PC or, or your laptop. This, is, this installation can take like 5 or 6 minutes depends on your system. okay so here click on next then next then install and wait for it to finish it might take five minutes or seven minutes not sure depends on your system okay so installation is begun now Okay, it is about to finish now okay so it's finished our driver setup has been finished so it's time to extract the Odin 3 tool now we got our Odin extracted I'm gonna show you the application name here's the application that we're gonna use to flash the firmware 
and the next thing we need to extract the firmware this is gonna also take a while depends on your system like three minutes five minutes maybe Okay, it is extracted now. We're gonna open the Odin tool. Click OK and click on BL. BL stands for bootloader. Now locate to your extracted folder name. It is in my downloads. This folder, this, and that is the PL file. Select it then we gonna select cp cp is for phone file and csc csc is a modem which contains the network settings and other things and ap ap is our pdf file which contains all our data like system applications and camera data and lib files so ap gonna take a little bit time maybe uh, 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 1 or 2 minute approx 1 or 2 minute is a lot but maybe don't know ok so it's all loaded up now now we need to put our phone into the download mode for download mode press the volume down home key and power key at the same time for like 5 or 6 seconds then it will show you this screen yeah then press the volume up for continue and now we gonna connect our USB cable okay so now it's connected and you can see the COM port which means our phone is connected to the laptop and we gonna start after clicking on start it will show you the system progress the flashing progress it's gonna take sometimes like three or four minutes maybe and usually depends on your system too and we're gonna wait for it to finish and here you can see the downloading data and on the laptop too wait for it to finish when it it gonna finish your system gonna your phone gonna restart Okay, it is about to finish now. As soon as the flashing will finish, your phone will restart. Uh, maybe two time, but that's fine. Okay, it's re it's showing reset and pass, which means the flash was successful. And your phone went into the recovery mode, where it will do the factory reset and it will turn on wait for it and we can close this so our phone is restarted one more time and this time it gonna take like 5 
6 or 7 minutes approx to boot your phone because the first boot takes time and on the second it will be nice it will boot faster So I guess our booting is about to finish now. Yeah, it's showing Android starting and it gonna install application. This one gonna take to like 2 minutes, 3 minutes. Now it's starting the bloatwares which I don't like about the Samsung when they put a lot of bloatware in the phone and phone starts to get slow and laggy okay it's now booted and we're gonna finish the setup wizard skip for now and skip Or is it showing checking for updates? I don't know if my sim card have the internet or not. Yeah, let's see. And if you if you don't have internet or you don't have Wi-Fi, it's fine. Then you won't be needing this setup wizard. If somewhat your internet is not working, you can just remove your sim card and skip everything. Mm. Let's see, I'm gonna skip too. <coughs> okay, it's taking time. Okay, let's skip it, press the back and eject the sim card. Uh, sim card is ejected and we will keep on skip. Now it's done, accept and not now, skip anyway. Skip, skip. All right, we are good to go now. So our phone is finally fixed now. The software issue has been fixed. As you can see, as the settings about phone. This model is G730 GM, the Indian variant. And if you're from different country, you will need separate or different firmware files. You can ask me in the comments. So our device is fully working now, fully functional. And it doesn't have any issue now. This is the page pen version, which I have given you the link. And let's try to restart it and see what happens. Now it's restarting. So it's finally booting now and we don't see that triangle thing. That error has been occurred is finally solved now. This is a full guide for you <coughs> to fix your phone without spending on it. So if you like this video drop a like subscribe and share and thanks for watching have a nice day